This is the part four of our series on how to write books with your smartphone. So we've gone through the interface, we've done the title page, the copyright page. I told us how we're going to do the table of contents. This is an introduction to our book. Then we continue writing like that, like that, like that. And I said, I'm going to show you how to add images. Yes, I said I'm going to show you how to add images to your books to cover up for all those blank spaces so let's continue let's continue now we have selecting the right plant if you've not seen part one two and three you might not catch up with what we are doing here so you have to check the link to part one part two and part three in the description below so that when you watch it you would continue with part four until you get to part 10 and i assure you that immediately you finish watching part one to part 10 you would never worry about writing books with your phone again because you would know how to do it professionally so the next thing is selecting the right plan selecting the right plan is also a sub heading so all you need to do is to highlight it after highlighting it like this you click on the a sign you know i told you that anytime you want to work on your text you want to change color change font size and all you will need to highlight your text and click on the a sign after clicking on the a sign you know it's a subheading and we said all subheadings must be under heading 2 so under style you tap it and you click heading two after clicking heading two you go back you make it bold then you click on paragraph and make it left alignment after clicking on left alignment you go back to text again and the size should be 18 we've been using 18 you don't want some text to be small and some will be big it does not make your book look professional if you used font size 18 for all your heading to it should be 18 throughout your book if you used font size 20 for your chapters it should be 20 throughout your book and the color is blue we've been using color blue for our heading 2 and the font the font is Meriwether I remember that's what we used so when you're done you just click on the check mark by the top left corner of your screen to see how it looks as you can see it looks good the next thing now is to go and get content for it so to get content for it we would go to playground and tell playground to help us write a content about selecting the right plants for your flower garden this is playground so the prompt is write a content or let's make it write a comprehensive content about selecting the right plants for a flower garden once you're done you tap submit as you can see when creating a flower garden selecting the right plant is essential to having a successful beautiful garden there are a few things to consider when selecting plant size color seasons and climate it has started explaining them one by one the size the size of the flower garden will determine this you see it is making a lot of sense imagine that somebody wants to buy this book or somebody buys this book these are the information they want to see in this book all the things that will guide them through creating their flower garden and make it look very attractive then things that would help all the plants in the garden or all the flowers in the garden survive and blossom these are the kind of information they will be needing for such book now it is done writing all you need to do is to copy after copying it the first thing you need to do is to check plagiarism after you copy everything on the page everything that playground has written for you you copy it you first of all go and check plagiarism it is as important as anything if you don't check plagiarism your account will be terminated and i have videos where i 
taught how to check plagiarism that's why i'm not going to be doing it in this 10 book writing series so after checking plagiarism if you see that any part of the content is plagiarized the plagiarism checker will show you the part that is plagiarized i'm talking about dupli checker d-u-p-l-i c h e c k e r dot com dupli checker dot com so after you check it you can only check 1000 words per time so when you check it and you see that some parts are plagiarized to show you the part that is plagiarized you go and use cubot or any other paraphrasing tool to rewrite that part but if you can rewrite the entire document with any paraphrasing tool that would also be a good one it just makes your book more unique so if you don't have a paraphrasing tool you can paraphrase yourself since it is not the entire document and even if it's the entire document and you are a good writer you can paraphrase yourself so under selecting the right plans we will now paste what we just copied as you can see remember i told you about justification in the last video you see that because we already set our normal style to be justified you see that anytime we paste anything it is well aligned as you can see when it comes to you just make sure you close all these extra spaces like this it is only when you want to start a new paragraph that you should leave a space so this color you highlight it and make it bold just highlight and click on b season two the same thing once you highlight it you click on the b sign there climate highlight it and click on the b sign continue it concluded by saying when selecting plants it is important to consider the size color season and climate this will ensure that the right plants are chosen for the garden and will result in successful beautiful flower garden that makes sense you just leave that the next thing you want to do now is to get content for the next subheading which is preparing your garden i think this is the last element in our chapter one so you highlight that again you click on the a sign after clicking the a sign the first thing is style you make it heading two after clicking heading two fonts you make it merry weather that we've been using then color is color blue for our subheading then paragraph is left alignment then size font size is 18 once you're done with this you just click in to see what it looks like and that makes sense so the next thing we want to do now is to go and get content for preparing the garden we go back to our playground and then write a comprehensive content about preparing a flower garden once you're done with the prompts you click submit it will start writing the content for you preparing the flower garden is a rewarding experience that adds beauty and life to the outdoor space you see it's already given us a lot of points that we couldn't have even thought about it says plan your layout all these things come together to form the content about how you should prepare your garden you see after planning your layout you also prepare your soil as you can see then you choose your flowers once it is writing and it stops writing where it has not finished what it is writing you click submit again so it will continue once it is done you just copy and head straight to your plagiarism checker let's do that you copy everything on the page go to your plagiarism checker to check plagiarism and then paraphrase any part that seems plagiarized you paraphrase it then take it to your google doc for formatting so let's go back to our google doc and paste it under preparing the garden as you can see you just read through and see that everything makes sense choosing your location you make that bold highlight it and click on bold plan your layout you highlight it and make it bold by clicking the b then 
prepare the soil, you do the same. Choose your flowers, you do the same too. Highlight it and just make it bold. Plant and maintain. So you do the same, highlight and make it bold. So this is the conclusion for that and it seems good. Now the next thing you want to do is that we want to start chapter 2. We have finished our chapter 1 successfully. To start chapter 2, remember the first thing you need to check is the page number. All chapters, introductions and conclusions must start from an odd number always remember that so now that chapter one has ended with an even number which is page 16 we need to start chapter two in an odd number so chapter two can start from page 17 because 17 is an odd number it is the right position but as you mean this chapter now ended with an odd number we cannot start chapter 2 on an even number we have to leave that page blank or cover it up with an image just look for a relevant picture to fill up that page then we start from the next odd number leaving it blank is only effective for the paperback or the hardcover versions but if you are doing the Kindle version, which is the ebook version, you should not leave any space blank. Always fill up the spaces, cover it up, because they are not reading it on a hard copy. They are reading it on a device, like the way you are reading on your phone. So imagine you are reading this book on your phone and there are some blank spaces in between. How will you feel? It's going to cause a misleading customer experience. That's why you must make sure that all the extra spaces we are talking about are closed or are covered when you are doing your Kindle version. So to avoid that, if you want to post the same number of pages for your Kindle and your paperback or even your hardcover, make sure you put images. If you cover it up with images, there is no need to close the pages. The image, the relevant image has covered it up and it will make sense to the reader. So, chapter 2 now, always remember two things. Number one, if you are moving to a new chapter, you must use page break. Page break from the previous chapter to the new chapter. There must be a page break. If there is no page break, your formatting is going to scatter after you save as PDF and you will not know why. So always put page break after every chapter. That's number one. Number two, make sure that all your chapters start from an odd number. So in this case, I will just click on the plus sign and tap page break. You see, it has moved to the next page, which is page 17. And it is an odd number, so our chapter can start from there. We just highlight that chapter two, plant care. I like after highlighting it, you click on the A sign. The first thing you want to do is to change the font. What font were we using? Always remember the fonts you used. You click Meriwether. That's what we've been using for both heading one and heading two. The font size is 20 for chapters, remember. 20 the color is red for chapters you know we're using blue for sub chapters so it's red for chapters paragraph is going to be in the middle that is center and it has to be bold remember that our chapter is also going to be in heading one like this after putting it in heading one you can now put all other changes Heading one, Meriwether, 20 points, color red, and then make it bold. So this is our chapter text. The next thing you want to do is to look for content about plant care. So let's go back to our playground and tell it to give us content about plant care for a flower gardening guide. This is the prompt. Write a comprehensive content about plant care for flower garden. Submit. Flower gardens are a great way to brighten up 
any space whether it's your backyard your balcony or windowsill you can see that it's giving us contents that makes sense so it's talking about watering fertilizing all these are ways to care for your flowers to make them look very attractive and blossom the way you want it's giving us very nice content i mean if not because i'm not checking plagiarism i would really want to upload this book because the book is even making sense to me so weeds i remember that in secondary school then we were thought that weeding is the process of removing unwanted plants from your farm or from your garden so that's what it is telling us here too that you should always weed if you want to care for your flowers insects you see using the right insecticide so that insects would not eat up the flowers and kill them it concluded by saying with proper care and maintenance your flower garden can flourish giving you a beautiful display of colorful blossoms let's see if it will give us more content okay it says keep these tips in mind to ensure that your plants stay healthy and vibrant all season long this is lovely just highlight everything as usual then go to your plagiarism checker go to your plagiarism checker i've mentioned this more than 100 times in this series go to your plagiarism checker and check plagiarism any part that is plagiarized you make sure to paraphrase it or rewrite it manually if you check my youtube you'll see videos that will teach you everything how to write manually how to use tools free online tools to do your plagiarism checking and even do your paraphrasing so i have all these tutorials on my youtube so let's go back to our google docs like we have already checked plagiarism and paraphrased appropriately then we paste it under chapter two like this as you can see our book is already coming up so the next thing you want to do now is to bold in these points water fertilizer pruning weeds as you see that makes sense just close up all these extra spaces i think it's good now and we are good so the next subheading is watering and fertilizing i'm supposed to finish this chapter two at least in this series but the video is already getting too long and i don't want that to happen so let's quickly take a quick run on what we've done let's go to the beginning and check how good our book look this is the title looking very attractive you continue this is the copyright page then the table of contents we said it is only when we finish writing that we generate the table of contents this is the introduction you see you see that the book makes sense by the time we add images to these extra pages now you will see that it makes a lot of sense so chapter one getting started you continue these are the subheadings under chapter one understanding your soil selecting the right plants preparing the garden then we move to chapter two plant care it has given us the first content in part five we are going to explain images and some other key elements of book formatting with your smartphone if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber already because i have a lot of great content to help you scale your online business and i'm giving you everything for free absolutely free share this video with anybody that you know that is doing amazon kdp or is even a freelancer that or that even writes books or contents generally but don't have a laptop or even has a laptop but wants to be mobile with their online business you can start writing a book even in a bus at the park in the class when you're waiting for a lecturer and he's not yet around you can just pick up your phone and start writing a book these are the flexibilities of using mobile device or mobile phones to write books so please share this video with them let's all eradicate sakba from our society thank you very much for watching i'll see you in part five